Let's look at how to launch a Collaborate session. First, we need to locate Collaborate inside the course site. Depending on how the course is set up, you may find a link to a Collaborate session inside a content area, such as in this class I could go to Modules, and Module 1, I find an Online Office Hours Collaborate session. You notice this purple circle with the two arrows in it. That's the icon for Blackboard Collaborate. You may also have a link that goes straight to Blackboard Collaborate in the course menu. The labeling can change depending on how the course is set up. It may say Collaborate, it may say Online Classroom, or Online Lecture Space, or Lecture Hall, or in this case, Virtual Office. However it's set up, your professor will probably let you know the best way to get into Blackboard Collaborate inside the course. However, if your professor hasn't said anything and, other than you need to use Blackboard Collaborate for this session or that session, you can always find it by clicking on Tools in the course menu and then just going to Blackboard Collaborate. Depending on how the course is set up and what your professor's expectations are, you may need to access a default room for the course, uh, or the professor may be running their own room. You see this class has three instructors, uh, and any of them can run a Collaborate session. Your professor should be pretty clear about which one to use. There may also be a scheduled session that you should access. If your professor has told you to view a recorded session, something that they've gone into Collaborate and recorded for you to view later, or if you missed a live session and they say, well, check out the archive, you can view that under Recordings. There'll be a list here of all of the recordings that are available for this class. Um, accessing a recording or a live session works the same. What you'll need to do is click on the link for the session. Now, if this is your first time using Collaborate in a class, you're going to need to download the launcher. You see here it says, if you cannot open the .colab file, download the Blackboard Collaborate launcher. So I'll click this link, and it pops this window, get the launcher. So I download the launcher. And then I want to choose to save file. Uh, I've already done that actually, so I'm going to hit cancel here. I've already downloaded the file. Uh, depending on your browser, how you view the downloaded file, how you access this, the downloaded file is going to going to vary. In Firefox, you have a downloaded files button here that I can click and then uh, hit this open containing folder button to open the folder that the file was saved to. In Internet Explorer, uh, uh, for example, at the bottom uh, there is a, an orange bar uh, or a yellow gold goldenrod bar that has uh, open save view folder buttons on it. Um, the other thing to do is to just be careful when you're downloading the file. It'll, it'll always prompt you where do you want to save this. Just pay attention to where you're saving. Uh, and then you can just use the file browser on your computer to locate the file. So here in Firefox, uh, you see it downloaded to the Downloads folder. Uh, and it pulls me up right here. But if you've got a lot of stuff in this folder and it's not highlighted by default, what you can always do is click the Date Modified link here. And that'll put the most recent thing at the top which is going to be the thing you just downloaded, in this case, the Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. So now what you want to do is just double-click this, and then we'll just run through a couple steps to install the launcher. Just say Next and Install. It takes a couple minutes to run through its processes. and finish. And now I'm all set. And I can join room. Now when you click join room, you'll get likely get some version of this opening meeting.collab window. Um, for this we recommend open the file. Um, we have found some browsers don't give you the option. They automatically start saving the file. If your browser automatically starts saving the file, let it save the file. It's super small. It'll be saved very, very quickly. And then just open that file after it's been saved. And here you see Collaborate is loading up.
And here we have Blackboard Collaborate ready to use. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Instructional Design Studio or leave a comment on this post. Thank you.